So uh, at BVT, at, at BVT, we're actually developing the next big ag tech innovation, agricultural technology innovation. It's a technology that's going to allow farmers to increase their profits, and most most importantly, is a, in a sustainable and environmentally responsible way. So uh, before I talk about BVT, I just want to paint a very quick picture of some of the drivers that are affecting our food systems. Um, so what we're seeing is a, uh, a population that keeps expanding on the, on the world, around the planet, as, as we all know. But what's very important is that the resources that are available to feed this growing uh, population are actually declining. On a per capita basis, the amount of arable land that's available for farmers is actually declining. Uh, so what, if you do the math on that, what it really means is that we have to find a way, or farmers have to find a way to effectively double their productivity per acre of farmed land over the next 30 years. We as a society, regulators, uh, consumers, food companies are asking farmers to do this in an environmentally responsible way. We don't want them to keep using synthetic chemicals or synthetic pesticides. So what that's actually done is it's created this tremendous uh, opportunity for biological products. These are products that are derived from nature in some form to help increase productivity on an acre of farmed land. Uh, this industry right now is about a $3 billion industry and it's growing at a 14% compound and annual growth rate. So where does BVT fit in? BVT fits in exactly uh, on this trend towards natural biological products. But what's actually unique about what we do is we've added another sustainable element where we're delivering biological products using managed pollinator hives. These are honeybee hives or bumblebee hives. So by combining these two technologies, biologicals and bee vectoring, what we've actually created is a solution that produces better crops for the farmer, and we've seen higher yields, better quality, longer shelf life for the crops that they're selling, and uh, also, most importantly, a reduction in the impact on the environment of that farming operation through the reduction of use of chemicals and reliance on water and heavy machinery. The great thing is that this is an elegant solution that's all natural. So the rationale for bee vectoring is actually quite simple. And again, what we're talking about when I say bee vectoring is the use of commercial beehives to deliver biological products to plants. This is big business, right? There's, eight, there's about 80% of the crops that are grown worldwide re that require some form of pollination. On a global basis, 80 million honeybee hives are being used, and about a third of what we consume in our diets is attributed to those 80 million beehives. So it just gives you a scale, and it's, and it's in every corner of the world. So that get, gets us excited as business people or as investors, but what also gets uh, uh, the agronomists excited is that the rationale for bee vectoring is actually quite compelling from an agronomic practice perspective as well. The flower represents the most fragile part of a plant, and it's where a lot of pests enter the plant and then propagate and actually damage the plant. So it's the best place to deliver an inoculum to help the crop protect against that pest. And that's where the bees go, right? That's their food source, so that's the, their visit source. So if, if we can get the bees to deliver products to the flower of a crop, it's a very efficient way uh, through uh, 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 for delivering a crop protectant. The benefits I've already mentioned, uh, we're minimizing the actual wastage of the crop protection product, the biocontrol. There's no use of water, and there's also no um, uh, machinery, and the quality and yield benefits are quite outstanding. Our IP, we have uh, at BVT, we've developed a, a quite an aggressive IP strategy, and we have patents covering five families of this technology. On the left-hand side, you see our biological control agent. We have patents around this beneficial microbe. It's a species called Clonostachys rosea. Uh, but what we also have developed are patents around delivery systems that work with honeybee hives as well as bumblebee hives. So initially, we will take our microbe through our, our dispenser systems and deliver to flowering crops. But this technology can actually be scaled and we can leverage it with third-party relationships and we're beginning to do that already 
by taking uh, third-party products, delivering them through our system, but also taking our buyer control and asking third parties to deliver uh, you know, foliar or seed treatment, more traditional formulations. So through these licensing arrangements, we can actually uh, scale the business very nicely. This is what our system look like, looks like. On the left-hand side, you see three pictures of the tray that goes inside a bumblebee hive. That, in the middle of those three pictures is a white powder that contains our beneficial microbe. That's the powder that gets attached to the bees as they leave the hive. They fly with it and take it to the flower. On the right-hand side, you see the prototype of our honeybee system. We're actually testing that honeybee system in the field. Uh, actually, as we speak, it's being installed on about 100 acres in, in, in Georgia so for some trials in blueberries. We have been studying this system. I should say bee vectoring as a concept has been studied in academia for almost two decades. But as a for-profit uh, um, enterprise, BVT has been studying this since 2012. Uh, most recently, we've been doing a series of replicated studies. These are kind of equivalent to what you might do with clinical studies uh, in the pharma industry. We work with independent labs, university researchers. Uh, we've done work in sunflowers, in strawberries, and in blueberries in multiple countries, in North America and in Europe. And we've always demonstrated superior performance uh, against the chemical controls. On the right-hand side, you see uh, examples of commercial demos. This is a 40-acre field, which is a large field in Florida, where we compared our treatment against traditional treatments that the farmer's been using. And we've actually been able to demonstrate that the value that we're bringing to the strawberry grower is in the order of about $3,400 per acre over the strawberry growing season in Florida, which is about November till March. So, uh, our business model now, uh, we're starting uh, on, a, on a pilot basis by looking at that strawberry market in Florida, and we're actually very pleased to announce yesterday our first uh, commercial invoice in that Florida market, uh, which is the, the, the center, if you will. But we've already started working on market expansion projects by looking at additional regions, additional countries, additional crops, different pollinator species, and so on. And, and this, this is a very typical model in, in, in ag that, that I've used. I've worked in the industry for about 15 years. Uh, typically, you do a pilot launch, and then you kind of expand from there. Our business model is also very partner friendly. And so we're already managing a portfolio of about 15 partnerships that are in various discussions from early testing to late stage discussions. Uh, and these discussions are ro revolve around go to market. So they might be interested in taking our technology and selling it in their home country. We've also looking at their products to see if they can be delivered through our system, that's what we call in-licensing, and then product line exp extensions, for example, seed treatments and more traditional foliar sprays. So we've initially identified a $2 billion market opportunity, but that opportunity will actually grow much greater than that based on these market expansions. This is where we are as a company. We've completed the R&D phase of BVT. Uh, we are in the commercial launch phase. This is about a 24-month process that started last year. Uh, I said that uh, we just announced uh, earlier this week our first commercial revenue. Uh, we expect uh, EPA registration later in 2019. And as we grow the business from there, we're going to uh, be able to commercialize strategic partnerships and then have a global presence as we go out to 2022 or 2023. The team is very experienced. Um, collectively, the four that you see on, on this slide have about 100 years of experience in the global crop protection market. Uh, this is big ag experience, companies like Syngenta, Bayer Crop Science, and the like. Um, I also worked in a, a, in a successful uh, startup uh, and led that and helped lead that through a successful exit. Uh, uh, AgriQuest was acquired by Bayer Crop Science for $425 million, and we only had about $16 million in sales. So you can do the multiple on that yourselves. It uh, just gives you an idea how active this area is. Um, okay, a little bit about our capital structure. We can go into this in more detail uh, if you want to visit us at our booth. So in conclusion, BVT is in a really exciting stage in its uh, evolution. 
we've already demonstrated that we have a superior value proposition. We've shown higher yields, better quality crops. Uh, we've got a patented technology, so if somebody is interested in the, in the industry, in the marketplace, uh, in this space, they pretty much have to come and work with us in some way. Uh, and then it, from, uh, from where we are in our uh, company's existence, we're in this super exciting commercialization phase. We've got our first revenue, and 2019 will be the year where we get our EPA registration and a full launch in the, in the United States. Come and visit us at uh, booth 404, and I'm happy to answer any questions then. Thank you.